Hi, it's Ken Rakowski. This is The Voice of Disruption. This is our segment all around the idea of music disrupted, where we learn about what artists are doing to make themselves idols and stars. Joining me, of course, every week is Mr. Scott Page. Scott, Scott, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose company is known as? Ignited Network. Talking about Ignited the Network. There. Ignited Network. There and you, you made this platform yes. because you being, of course, an artist, you realize that Artists need a way to connect with their fans and be part of the fans' lifestyle. Well, not not only that, music you can't really sell anymore, right? So you have to figure out new ways to monetize as an artist today. And so we really focus on what is it that artists can sell and what is it they care about. And what we found is it's really about the super fan and it's about the lifestyle and about the things. So it's great, kind of creating value for the fans other than just playing music. Remember the monkeys? Remember oh, yeah. the sure. uh, Partridge family? Absolutely. Okay, so you got that, those TV show genres and then you had the, let's see, the Osmond brothers. Yep. And the Jacksons, real families, right? Yep. They all had a couple of things, and you tell me how we would apply it to today's world, okay? okay? First, they had their own TV shows. All of them did. Well, that's what we have today, right now. We've, your cell phone is basically a broadcast network. You got more power than NBC did 10 years ago in the palm of your hands, right? right. Because it's a two-way interaction, interactive network, right? So they had their own uh, publishing house. They that's had correct. their own records back then. What yep. do they got today? Well, now it's all about direct-to-consumer. Right, it's like you can buy, basically bypass all the middlemen and go direct to the direct to the fans. So today, the game is is people think social media is about just marketing, but it's really your business. It's really much more than that now because whoever owns the audience wins. So if you have your audience, and we always talk about the thousand true fan model, the reason I talk about that, it doesn't really take that many to get there. And that is a, a true fan is somebody who'll spend one hundred dollars a year. If you're an independent artist, if I have one thousand fans that'll do that, there's my first hundred thousand in revenue. Right? So that's why we teach. Let's get the first thousand, build that hive, get that network going, and get that first set of revenue. So again, going back to those two fake bands and two yep. real bands, uh, live performances became crucial. Even to this day, tribute, oh, right? Yeah. So how, has that changed for a lot of these artists today? Is live really the only way to really connect properly? Um, well, you know, now we've got live streaming, we've got all these other things. And so virtual concerts are now starting to take off. I actually see a few of the artists that I, you know, I've been working with. They're just killing it on the live broadcast. Oh. Yeah, it's incredible. So you mean you, in the palm of your hand, instantly I can go live to my fans to the world. I've met a lot of artists that are doing house parties. Big time. And actually, I inc we increased one of the artists's uh, basically revenue on a tour by two times by putting house parties in the middle. House parties. And so that the thing I taught them, I said, when you do these live events and these when you're playing in these gigs, you want to find you want to interact. That's the greatest place to convert and find those super fans. And then before you go out on the next tour, you get these super fans to hold a live party at their house. They bring it over, they sell the t-shirts, they do the whole thing, and they're increasing their revenue like by tenfold by Imagine doing when that. you were Floyd doing a house party, how many just truck trailers would be in front of the house. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> It'd be a big old house party. Yeah. Hey, so next to you is a band, a new band that yes. I want you to uh, learn about because they're pretty incredible. They're called Robot Nature. And uh, what are you guys' names? What's your name? Richard. Richard? My name's Deepak. Richard and Deepak. Okay, are you the whole band or do we have more We're members? We're half the band. We have our drummer and our bass player that aren't here today. And this is a keyboard player. And I'm the lead singer, songwriter, and guitar player, and violinist. Drummer's name is Jesse, and Michael is the bass player. Michael. S different type of sound. Right, it's not it's not a atypical type sound. You you got a mix between what? What would you describe it as, Scott? Uh, well, I only heard a little bit of it, so it was uh, you know it's I guess it's a little pop and um, kind of indie. Pop yeah, kind of pop indie. Yeah, when you hear the production, it's pop rock electronic, right? We were just yep. just trying to, you know, right. We're looking, we're looking to create for you guys at the end of the show. We'll play something for you guys. It'll be more acoustic version of something that's about to be coming out soon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sometimes I say edgy pop, edgy pop rock, edgy rock kind of. All so, pop. So, Richard, I want to ask you: uh, when you have someone like Deepak, who obviously is the star that sticks out, how do you keep the star in line with the culture of the entire band? That's an <laughs> that's an incredible question. Well, we've actually met recently, so I want to just say that. So we, we're still even just really getting to know each other, but we've gotten to know each other so fast we and become a quick Just family. this year. We just met this year. The four of us, it's almost like we were just born brothers in a sense. So when you say keep in line, like keep, there's nothing really to keep in line because we're all really helping each other. Honestly, I, it's we, definitely a good team, and somehow it's a you know something. Yeah, the universe works years. in mysterious yeah. ways. Give it ten years, we'll we'll see. See. you'll hate each other. You'll hate yeah. each other. You'll like different buses. <laughs> hey, you'll have your own it'll only make new chemistry because at the end of the day, ingredients create chemistry. It Listen. also helps. Multi all of us play multiple instruments too, so we can all help each other out in certain ways. So that also helps too. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you see a, a young band like this, Scott, mm -hmm. okay, I know you get excited because they're into all of these tools that you mentioned earlier, way before you guys ever got into Absolutely. old school, right? 
But what advice would you get from being somebody that's been in some of the most successful bands in history to keep them together? I think the most important thing is to put a plan together. I mean, a really a serious plan because a lot of times artists, they go make stuff, they do it, and then they don't know what to do. They think, mm. oh, if I just put it up online, the whole world's going to come, right? right. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't work that way anymore. It's really about finding those fans, building those relationships and do it. So I would really think really seriously about what, w w let's say you had a hit record, then what? Right? right? It's like, how are you going to monetize on that? How are you going to capitalize on that? So where's your business going? What does your brand stand for? What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. what, what can you sell that's beyond just the music, right? right? Yeah. Because it's very difficult today to try to sell music. What can you sell beyond your music? Yeah, well, the name's called Robot Nature, and we have a whole vision that involves technology, also entertainment. We're into superhero shows and Star Wars, things like that. And, so, and that's our market. There's a huge market of people that we grew up the same age watching superhero movies. So, you know, we're looking to have live action figures, story behind it, an actual science fiction story from the year 3182 that I'm working on, the futurism and, right. you know, like robots and things like that. But that blend between technology and nature and then mm -hmm. creating icons, logos, lots of different types of gear and merchandise, you know, mm -hmm. so we can Is share the story. Is this your vision? I'm only going to say mine, but I've definitely, it definitely it's came okay to me. It's to I, say that. Is everyone, <laughs> you've been I, building I, a vision. I feel like it's everyone's vision that I share it with, so yeah. hopefully it'll be your vision too. <laughs> but, you know, I definitely crafted it first, and, right. you know, we thought about it a few years ago, but then just met these guys this year, and now it's manifesting. I think everyone's involved in the vision, and we're co-writing songs together now that we just met, yeah. and co-writing some of the story elements yeah. as well. And how's your social doing so far? Just curious. Social, you, social, social network. Give me numbers. Your again, things, we right? started this year, yeah, we were around, like, around 5,000 fans on Facebook, very mm -hmm. new. Right. Um, and again, just a couple months, and, you know, we're building our, you know, we're about to start our YouTube channel, everything you just talked about, about having a channel at home. We have my whole music studio in the Malibu area, and we're building a whole space where we can start shooting these live concerts you're talking right. about. Lighting it, we're doing lighting on Monday. LEDs, we just ordered all this stuff. We've got a black backdrop, multiple cameras, 4K. Nice. We're ready to start doing these little live shows at our house and broadcast them too. Great. That's so, the right thing to do. You're yeah. in the media business. Everybody's exactly. in the media. I don't yeah. care for you all trucks. But then we're, you have to be in the media business. But we have a lot today. to learn. You know, there's, right. there's much to learn from people like you guys. So. Scott, who is their customer? Who is their customer? Who is their customer? That's This is where you'd have to do some deep diving on what's the plan. It's a good question. Um, it depends on where you want to take your Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, for example, Google. Who is Google's customer? Everybody. Yeah, wouldn't you say everyone? Well, like those, all age groups. What does Google make? Information. Okay. So they make eyeballs. They make people to look at it, okay? Mm. The customers, they're advertisers. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that, right? Mm, they right. think it That's the other true. way around. Yeah. So as long as people are looking at Google, the advertisers are happy. Yes. Okay? Right. Media companies always thought they made content, and this is why many of them failed, mm. because the viewers were their customers or the advertisers. Mm -hmm. The question is, who's your customer? Who's going to pay and give you the resources to become, who, to become great? Who is that? Because it used to be a label. Yeah, label. Oh, you mean as far as the finest? Yeah, it used to be the label. Labels. So who's their customer? Yeah, yeah. That's a. It's really good question. It's like again, what problem are you solving? Is there something you can do that I, creates value? I'm not trying value? to stump you. I'm just kind no, of these are great yeah. This is stuff for us to think about. I mean, we're, yeah. we're, no, we're definitely interested. I mean, as you mentioned the label, at this point, we're at an independent stage. We're looking into having investors and, be, and going more of a private Absolutely. route and then approaching the labels from a different stance with some leverage, things like that. And then in terms of the fans, like, you know, we like to connect with them on that personal level and, and see, you know, how we can, if we can create this culture of people that are liking similar things that we like, like superhero movies and Star Wars and things like that, and see if they're interested in a musical project that could cater that those type of people, that kind so of demographic. Would it be smart? for you guys to find where all the major comic cons are around the world yeah. and be playing at those locations. Yes, and also we're getting into Absolutely. the cryptocurrency world too. Yeah. Met a bunch See, of people that want to have us play at some of their narco polco and other events like that coming up. So we're crossing over into futurism, technology, blockchain, stuff like that as so well. So it's really Good smart. That's Good very news. smart. There's two events that happen all year long somewhere in the world. Star Trek mm -hmm. and Comic Con. Yeah. Every year there's a, or every week there's a Comic Con somewhere in the world, and same thing with Star Trek. Okay. So that could be a tour for us, you know, get on a Comic Con but tour. But it could be a tour, you right? Know? How yeah. do you growth hack those locations yeah. to bring those fans because they become your super fans? Super fans. Yeah. Because what's nice about that is the fans, you don't have to bring the customer. Yeah. Right. I mean, you don't have to bring. They're already yeah, there. Yeah, they're right there. That's a very much smart, much smarter way exactly. to kind of look at that. Yeah. I like Absolutely. That. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. Right. And they all it. dress up. Do you have outfits and all that? No. We yeah. have. We know we have some matching outfits. Really? And we're, yeah. we're working on creating gear to wear, shiny things. I'm working on getting a futuristic violin that has lasers coming out the yep. bow. I mean, we're coming up with all sorts of stuff. I mean, not that I want to really share all the secrets, but I want a jacket that, of course, is LED out. We have the designs for LEDs. Things of that nature. You know, you got to go all out. Yeah. You guys can be found where. What's the website? Robotnature.com, Robot Nature on Facebook, and currently Robot Nature Music on Instagram. And, and Scott, as again, I'm looking at you as being the senior guy that's gone out, not senior citizen, but senior guy that's <laughs> gone out and has traveled around the world. Yep. 
the biggest thing about keeping a band together is communication. Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that I that I also tell artists is they got to think like a startup, like a real business. Yeah. And it's really good to get the business part of it figured out in the beginning because here's one of the things that I always always amazes me. Somebody comes up with an idea in the company, the company starts, and the guy says, hey, I'm the idea, so I, I, I should be getting a bigger share. Yes. But the idea is really only about 5% execution. of the thing. It's all about the execution. So are you sharing Rebs four ways? Yeah. Yeah, we've talked about it, yeah. Have you wrote it down? Have you made mm -hmm. it a plan? Well, we are actually have, we have a yep. whole thing that we're doing right now, creating the LLC, creating share, shares, oh. and we're actually going to make it more of a business with shareholders and I have the investors be that. shareholders and dividends. We're like going to trade it like, like that. Well, we're That's here, the plan, we're so. here to help you out in any way possible. That's it. Awesome. Your business, Scott, Scott, can, be your business, found, yeah, Scott can be found over ignited.network. Yes, or anything at I A M Scott Page on all the social. And you guys uh, can be found again? Robotnature.com. And all your socials are there too, right? Yeah, Absolutely. Robot Nature is there and also just Robot Nature anywhere you search. Like when Facebook. we come back, what song we're going to here. Do you want to be a star, also known as Casting Couch? That's it. Pretty we'll relative. Right casting now. Couch is very relative we're, right we're now. And we didn't, it wasn't intentional. <laughs> we're going to hear more when we come back. <laughs> we wrote it four months ago. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. When we come back, let's hear some more from Robot Nation. Whoa. Robot, Robot Nature. Nature. But it's going to be Robot like Nation. Like yeah. Right here on <laughs> Voice of Disruption. Nation. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? We are Robot Nature, and this song is called Do You Want to Be a Star, also known as Casting Couch. I want to know what's behind your eyes Why are they so lonely? Why can't you decide? Yeah, I see the way you stare But I get this feeling That you need to see some proof And I know you want to fight fair But I'm not Hollywood don't want the truth Hey, hey, now can you tell that it's all real? Can we work it out? Can we make a deal? Do you want to be a star? And what about tonight? Is it worth the fight? Don't try to explain it all away Don't add any reasons Hey, now can you tell that it's all real? Can we work it out? Can we make a deal? Do you want to be a star? And what about tonight? Is it worth the fight? Now you want to be starting something real Can we work it all out? Forget what you feel Star, star, star.